In today's tutorial, we will talk about an important subject of lab safety, a potentially deadly cleaning mistake. And that has something to do with this type of reaction and acetonization. As you all certainly know, acetone with two equivalents of an alcohol, ROH, will react under acid catalysis, eliminating one equivalent of water and forming such an acetone. So now to the cleaning problem. So let's assume we have that type of setup. We have a fritted glass here, here this rubber ring, rubber seal and a suction flask and here vacuum. So we use something like that for filtering off solid material in reactions in organic chemistry. And in organic chemistry we learn that when we want to clean that up, yeah, we usually use acetone as a solvent, since a lot of organic material is very good soluble in acetone. In preceding practicals, for instance in inorganic chemistry, some of you might have learned that if we have inorganic material in there, we can clean that with a combination of sulfuric acid and hydrogen peroxide. So, in case that acetone did, didn't clean that enough, some might get to the idea, well, why not using then Additionally, the method we have learned in inorganic chemistry. Well, and if you don't have rinsed that with water and have eliminated the acetone, thrown the acetone away, then it could happen that both the acetone and this cleaning combination, sulfuric acid and hydrogen peroxide, will be mixed together within the suction flask. In that case, a very vigorous reaction will occur, leading to a vigorous explosion. What is happening there? Well, this is the ideal sit setup to perform an acetalization of acetone with hydrogen peroxide. That R here would be another OH group. And uh, what comes out of it in neutral conditions without the uh, sulfuric acid, acetone will already slowly react with hydrogen peroxide to form that dimer of acetone peroxide. And under acidic catalysis, it will form that trimer. Both are highly explosive. So, Never ever combine this method of cleaning from organic chemistry with this method known from as cleaning method from inorganic chemistry. So let's wipe that out. Thanks for listening.